second thing that I wanted to talk about is putting this gas block back on. We want to make sure that it's aligned. Um, so what I have here is a borescope. If you have a borescope, this is you can really get an idea of about what's going on there. Now I don't know how this is going to turn out or look, but this is my borescope on my laptop and um, it's currently pointing up through the, that gas port. You can see I have a little piece of cotton there from cleaning the barrel and it's focused here on the on the barrel channel so up into the gas block is a little bit fuzzy but you should be able to see I'm going to move the gas block back and forth you should be able to see when it's not aligned So you can see that I turned it a little bit to the left and then it's lined up again to the right. Now the gas port on the gas block is almost always you know quite a bit larger than the gas port on the barrel so you do have some leeway in there but um, as far as you know getting it far enough on the barrel it depends on who you ask. Some say that you have to, you know, have it right up against the journal on the barrel. Others say, no, you need to space it off about a credit card's width. Um, I think because of the, uh, the tolerance that you have inside that barrel port, you could probably do either and get away with it. But using that uh, bore scope is a way to be assured that it's lined up well. And then the other thing that you want to do is... I have my gas, um, or sorry, my bolt carrier with the bolt removed. I have it lubed up a little bit, so I want it to slide nice and easy. So I took the bolt out, and what we want to do here is we just get it in there, and we're just feeling for resistance. So here, I just turn the I just turned it quite a bit off so they can feel that it's actually uh, the gas key when it's hitting the uh, gas tube is actually binding a little bit so we definitely don't want that so I'm going to turn it back a little bit at a time and it's you can kind of hear it too I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up but I can feel it still touching it if you have your finger the end of this you can feel when it touches the gas port and you just want to slide it you know straight back and forth and see if there's any resistance there there's just a hair I'm just hitting the, the lip of it so I'm going to turn it just a hair more and there you can actually hear it hit so that's not what we want Okay, that's getting worse so let's go back the other way you should be able to find a spot in here where it's completely smooth like it's not really hitting the, the gas the gas key isn't really hitting the tube at all it's sliding straight on there I think we're right there we're as close as we're gonna get it may not always be perfect and then of course you want once you've got it there you want to also make sure that you're still lined up the, or your two ports on, on the barrel and the block are still lined up and I think I'm good there I'm looking at my bore scope over there it looks like I'm still aligned properly so I think we're probably going to cinch it down right here I might play with it a little bit more to see if I can get it just a hair smoother but um, you may in certain situations you may end up having to take it out and tweak the gas tube a little bit to get it to um to play nice but in this case this is pretty good all, all we want we don't want like a lot of binding and a lot of extra uh wear on the parts as as this bolt is is cycling so we want to find a nice smooth spot while still having good alignment down here at the block